Hi, it's Park Men from the Weather Store in Sandwich, Massachusetts. Today I'm going to talk about how a wheel barometer works. Uh, there are different types of barometers out there that you'll come across, aneroid barometers like these, and these can be more like mercury wheel barometers. So what I was going to do is going to explain to you basically how they work. So I've got a nice one here that I'm going to grab off the wall. This is a beautiful early 19th century barometer here, Sheraton style, has a thermometer and a beautiful dial right here. So as you can see, like all mercury barometers, that they need to be very level in order to operate. So you see when I hold it plumb like this, it gives accurate reading, but as soon as I begin to tilt it, that drops down. I'm going to tell you why, this is a good reason. So, but before I explain that, I want to talk about why they came up with a wheel barometer. Because a traditional barometer, and we'll use this one here as an example. Uh, this one here is a, basically a vertical barometer, like all barometers are, but it's a stick barometer. And you can really only read the top level of the mercury right there, if you can see closely. So a little change in air pressure might only be that much. However, what they did is they figured out a way to exaggerate that scale, that movement. And I'm going to show you in a second how that works. But essentially, you see the difference from like 30 to 31 inches of mercury is from here to here. So it really can track those subtle changes in weather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around. And this is how you can always tell a mercury wheel barometer is it has this tall door there. And if I open this up to little clips and I pop this open, like, hold on a second, there we go. If you can look inside there, you can see that there is a column of mercury, okay? And it's about 33 inches tall. And you can see that when I tilt it like this, it goes all the way up to the top, if you can see that. Essentially, there's a vacuum inside there. And by tilting it, I brought it all the way up. But when I bring it all the way level down like this, the mercury drops and it rises and falls according to the amount of air pressure. If you look closely down here, all that rising and falling, as I'm because my tilting and I'm simulating changing pressure, if you can see carefully, those two little glass floats are going up and down. Okay, so as much as that drops down, the bottom of this J tube rises up, and there's a little glass. And there's a little glass float down there. I'll bring it up so the camera can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to bring it right close, and, and I think you'll see that as I do that, it goes up and down. So that little glass float goes around a little pulley here, and then drops into another one just simply for a counterweight. That motion going up and down is translated through that little pulley wheel and that's what makes the needle move okay so it's calibrated for pressure it's calibrated for whatever the air pressure reading is and of course whenever we do repairs or we condition our services we always make sure it's reading the proper air pressure and simple matter of holding the needle and twisting until it reads the right one so essentially that's how a wheel barometer works and why it works uh, the big feature of it is that it, they're easier to read and people really like the beautiful cabinetry that went along with these uh, wheel barometers. And I think for anyone who collects or appreciates antique instruments like I do, um, this is one of my favorites. I think they're terrific. I love the inlays of the wood. I love the shape, the form, the presence that they have on the wall. So hopefully that answered some questions about why a uh, wheel barometer works and how it works. Anyway. Uh, thanks again for watching, and if you have any further questions about antique barometers, whether they're mercury or, anti or uh, aneroids, um, stick or wheel, or any uh, other type of barometer you come across, please uh, reach out to me. Uh, you can visit us on, uh, in the comments section, or you can contact us through our website, theweatherstore.com. Call us, or even better yet, visit us if you're in downtown Sandwich on Cape Cod. Thanks again for watching.